I really want y'all to know there is no such thing as it is too late. It is never too late. When you set a goal, you do whatever it takes to make that goal. Or you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to make that goal. So me and my team, we're going to make that goal, okay? Hey guys, it's Jan Charte and I'm back again with another video. So today's video is going to be a day in the life as always. I am at the office today. We are doing a sale, so we have a bunch of orders to pack. I don't come down to the office often unless I'm needed and I'm needed. <laughs> today uh we're getting ready to move so i'm trying to clear out as much inventory as humanly possible before we move so that we don't have to unstock the shelves and then restock the shelves so this is how the day is going today i'm at three thousand three hundred seventy dollars we've gotten 34 orders it is 157 so we got a lot of the day to go so this sale ends at midnight and then Another sale is going to start at midnight. We announced the, the two sales yesterday with the dates that they're going to start and end. So basically they're like anticipating the next one. I have to go get to work and pull some orders and um, I'll check back in with you guys momentarily. All right. So we got all of the packing slips printed. This is literally the stack thus far. Again, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So... This is between, let's see, yeah, yesterday and today. This is about 70 orders-ish. So I always print the packing slip first and then I pull the items, I put the packing slip on top and then we package each order individually. Um, so I like to do the, use the packing slips these days so that I can mark off that everything is actually here and then, um, you know, mark if something's missing. We can mark on the packing slip, you know, for them if we return something because it was missing or damaged or anything like that. But this is what we're working with for now. So I gotta go get to work before my husband comes back and yells at me because I'm not actually working. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got like five or six bags and like four boxes that need to get um, shipped out. So I am going downstairs to get this like rolling rack thing because they're gonna be heavy and I'm not carrying them. I usually drag them because they're too heavy. But um, I'm gonna try to roll as many of them as possible on the rack so that we don't have to make as many trips up and down the stairs or elevator. This is a freaking Ikea. Um, it's a freaking Ikea rack or rolling thingy, I don't know, cart. That's what it's called, a cart. I don't know how it got here, no idea. I guess they stole it. Did they, I don't even know if they sell them, I don't know, but somehow it got here. So I take it from the basement regularly so that I can use it to take my racks. Not my racks, well, it is some racks in, that ba in them bags, but to take my bags downstairs, so. Now we gotta go load them all up and take them downstairs and all that manual labor. So, yeah. It is now 8.59. Still at the office, as you can see. Um, I made about 300-ish more dollars, which I'm okay with. Um, I was hoping today would be a $5,000 day. I mean, there's still hope. I still have three hours, technically. Um, but I'm at $4,412, as you can see. Um, I just added some new, pro some new products to the website. I was going to include those products in the um, mystery boxes that I'm doing tomorrow. But I accidentally... Well, accidentally, but on purpose. The outfit that I have on is actually some of the pieces that I was going to put in the mystery boxes. And when I put the video up, people started commenting and asking me, was the outfit that I had on on the website? So it would have been so silly of me to not sell them something that they wanted. So I went ahead and put that on the website. Um, so hopefully I sell a good number of these uh, before the end of the night. And that should potentially push me over the um, hump of $5,000 today. So today, I mean tomorrow, we're going to set the mystery box sales. I started pulling all the like miscellaneous things out. So I divided the bins up by sizes. This is obviously not all of the products, but um, I started like stacking up the groups of five because the mystery box includes five 
products selected by us in their size so i started stacking those up obviously i don't know how many of each size we're going to get in um orders but i'd rather be prepared than not prepared um and then i pulled all of the rest of the orders that needed to be pulled for today um so now when my husband comes in tomorrow all he has to do is package them so those are the orders and then there's a few on the floor down there he just has to package them up and uh take them to the post office but obviously there's going to be so many more orders because i was just talking to my email marketing manager my girl is she's on the same page as me she got she has the email already ready to be sent out at midnight we got a bunch of sales overnight last night i think she sent an email out at like 2 a.m or something like that my audience is like very much a nighttime audience so that worked out really well our last email generated like two thousand dollars or something like that so that was pretty cool actually hold on i'm gonna log in and look at the email because i ever since i hired an email marketing manager i actually don't look at my emails that often i log in and look at like the analytics and obviously i'm signed up for my email list so that i can receive the emails and stuff but i don't always look at them so i'm gonna pull it up really fast and show it to you guys so we're gonna send an email out at midnight like i mentioned earlier i already have a um reel that i've recorded that I, i'm gonna um post at midnight as well but yeah um let's see so oh wait no this wasn't yesterday she sent the email out on the 23rd so that was four days ago so this is uh what i use for email marketing i use clavio i just learned that it's pronounced clavio not clavio i've been calling it clavio but um this email right here rewards program is the one that she mentioned and it generated two thousand dollars so that is super duper amazing and wait a minute i just said i was going to show y'all what it looked like so hold on um okay so this is the email um got my girls up there chi and Paige. uh rewards it was about our rewards program it had some products in it super duper fantastic love that for me okay so i'm back and this is really gonna be my last time on this camera so it is currently 11 11 now i'm finally home i stopped and got me something to eat i got me some wendy's i am so close to being to hitting five thousand dollars today like i will literally cry a river if i miss my goal today um i'm literally sitting here messaging my email marketing manager she and i are like we're on it <laughs> when it gets down to that last hour those last few minutes like i really want y'all to know there is no such thing as it is too late it is never too late when you set a goal you do whatever it takes to make that goal or you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to make that goal so me and my team we're gonna make that goal okay um but i'm literally at four thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars so i need to collect um thirty one dollars a little bit less than thirty one dollars and i will have hit my five thousand dollar goal today and actually my goal for the day was not five thousand dollars initially but when it when the day started going really well i changed it to five thousand dollars so that's another thing for me like when i am doing really well i challenge myself i push myself i don't personally i don't believe in like being mediocre if i have proven to myself that i'm going to you know beat myself <laughs> that i'm gonna beat my own goals then i always set new goals so that's what i did today but um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here because it's 11 something and I'm tired. I sent out my last push notification. My email marketing manager is getting ready to send out an email. She's gonna give like a last minute um, update about the sale that's happening that's gonna end in about 50 or 45 minutes. And then she's gonna also tell them about the sale that is starting um, at midnight. I already have my push notifications and everything set up to send um for midnight so we ready and by the time i wake up in the morning there should be money in the bank well not in the bank but y'all know what i mean money in the shopify period but i'm gonna log off here because your girl is tired okay i need to go and close my eyes and hit a pillow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll be back with more of them really really soon so stay tuned if you did not already make sure you hit that like button below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys next time bye